Welcome to the Today in History channel, in today's video we will talk about the day. December 14, 1812. Russia Campaign. The French invasion of Russia in 1812, also known as the Russian Campaign in France, and the 1812 Patriotic War in Russia, was a turning point during the Napoleonic Wars. It reduced the size of French forces and Allied forces, the Grande Army, to a small fraction of its initial strength, and brought about a major change in European policy as it dramatically weakened French hegemony in Europe. Napoleon's reputation as an invincible military genius was severely undermined, while former allies of the French Empire, first the Kingdom of Prussia, and then the Austrian Empire, broke their alliance with France and switched sides, triggering the Sixth War. Coalition The campaign began on June 24, 1812, when Napoleon's forces crossed the Neman River. Napoleon intended to compel Russian Emperor Alexander I to remain in the continental blockade of the United Kingdom, an official objective was to end the threat of a Russian invasion of Poland. Napoleon designated the Second Polish War Campaign, in reference to the First Polish War, the Russian government proclaimed a patriotic war. Almost half a million men, the Grande Army, marched through western Russia, winning a series of small battles, and a great battle, Battle of Smolensk, between 16 and August 18. However, on the same day, the right wing of the Russian army, under the command of General Peter Wittgenstein, blocked part of the French army, led by Marshal Nicolas Udnat, at the Battle of Polotsk. This action prevented the French from advancing on the Russian capital of St. Petersburg, the fate of the war had to be decided in front of Moscow, where Napoleon himself led his forces. Although the Russians used the scorched earth policy, and sometimes attacked the enemy with Cossack light cavalry, their main army withdrew for about three months. This retreat undermined confidence in Field Marshal Michael Andreas Barkley, prompting Alexander one degree to appoint a veteran, Prince Mikhail Kutuzov, the new commander-in-chief. Finally, on September 7, the two armies met near Moscow, at the Battle of Borodino. The battle resulted in the biggest and bloodiest action in a single day, during the Napoleonic Wars. It involved more than 250,000 soldiers and resulted in at least 70,000 victims. The French captured the battlefield, but failed to destroy the Russian army. Furthermore, the French were unable to replace their losses, while the Russians were able to do so. Napoleon entered Moscow on September 14, after the Russian army had again retreated. But by that time, the Russians had already evacuated the city, and even freed criminals from prisons to complicate the French advance. In addition, the governor, Count Fyodor Rostofin, ordered the city to be burned. Alexander I refused to capitulate, and the peace talks initiated by Napoleon failed. In October, without a clear victory sign, Napoleon began his disastrous retreat from Moscow, during the usual rain and mud period in the Russian autumn. At the Battle of Maloyaroslavets, the French tried to reach Kaluga, where they could find food for men and animals. But the well-fed Russian army blocked the road, and Napoleon was forced to retreat the same way they had come from Moscow, through the heavily devastated areas along the Smolensk Road. In the following weeks, the Great Army suffered catastrophic blows like the beginning of the Russian winter, the lack of supplies and constant attacks by Russian peasants and irregular troops. When the remaining troops of Napoleon's army crossed the Berezina River in November, there were only 27,000 soldiers left. The Great Army had lost 380,000 men and 100,000 had been taken prisoner. Napoleon abandoned his men and returned to Paris to protect his position as emperor and prepare to resist the advances of the Russians. The campaign ended on December 14, 1812, when the last French troops left Russia. An event of epic proportions and of great importance for the history of Europe, the French invasion of Russia has been the subject of much discussion among historians. The importance of the campaign in Russian culture can be seen in the work of Lev Tolstoy, War and Peace, in Tchaikovsky's composition, Overture 1812, and its identification with the German invasion of 1941-1945, which became known as the Great Patriotic War in the Soviet Union. Did you like the video? In the description you will find the blog link with the full article, give an incentive by subscribing to the channel, liking, commenting and sharing with your friends, hugs. Until the next.